then so we're in for pull day and surprisingly once again at gone midnight the gym is relatively quite busy 20 past 12 and i think like 16 people here and by the look of it a lot of people train in pulls so this could be this could be harder than you'd think for me to film so i hope i'm not here for ages we'll see i suppose i'm getting some funny looks right now but it's my job and so to run through the session in here straight bar pull downs neutral grip low row a matrix overhand row, which undecided on, but we'll see. Cable single arm pull down. Matrix preacher curl. Matrix rear delt fly. Incline dumbbell curl, which some of these curls might be moved around. We'll see. Oh dear. It's been a while since I've done pull at a gym like this. I'm not particularly excited, to be honest, because there's nothing, nothing that's going to get loaded up massively here, because... There's no plate loaded stuff or like, I'm not going to need me gym pin on any of this. Not that I've got my gym pin with me. In fact, so this session, I put together a second gym bag rather than having to move mine around between the cars, which frustrating, but makes life easier. Anyway, that mate does mean that I've got some new straps to break in which my older ones are ancient. My older ones are from like three or four rebrands ago. So there's literally nothing in that bag yet. Let's have some straps and some wraps. Warm up with these pull downs. This might be the worst angle in the world. Do I need straps for this set? No, definitely not. Oh, these straps are way shorter than mine. There's like no gap. And this bar's way thicker than the ones I'm used to, too. Hmm. Maybe stacking it is on the cards at some point. We'll see. Been upside with the gym bag with me today. I had to put all my crap on the floor. So it's like keys, phone drink uh got to make sure i've got the tripod and stuff with me this is constantly stuff to go everywhere i can't believe how busy this gym is i'm curious what pure gym will be like because obviously this gym's been open a few months now and it will have taken some people to pure gym and pure gym is closer to me but pure gym doesn't have those benches from yesterday so i don't know do a real set shall we three thirds of the th three thirds that would be all of it Three quarters of the stack. Stack weighs 134, this is 100. This might be a bit silly, but all of the sessions that I've posted so far have been silly. And I do want to stack this at some point because it would be fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that might be a bit heavy. <laughs> Keep partials. <laughs> might be a little bit heavier than I weigh. Now I'm stuck. Right. Set two. Dropped it by about half of what it was. Okay.
Now an old school low row. Undecided of whether or not I'm going to use a V-bar or a neutral bar. Whatever's available. I'll go with the neutral today. This neutral bar almost might be too wide. Like, actually, it's definitely wider than the one that I got for intent, but we'll see. I say that a lot, don't I? It's interesting. You use a lot of filler words when you're talking in long form versus like when I'm making short forms and I can snap stuff out. It's weird. You know, this shirt that I'm wearing, I swear the other one I've got of it isn't as big. It's ain't half oversized. And yesterday I moaned about my tailored shirts still not being done. And they're still not done. I need them for Saturday. So we're hoping I'm going to pick them up tomorrow and they'll be ready. I don't have much faith. <laughs> there was a lot of people around me for a minute there. And I, uh, I'm definitely getting some funny looks. But I'm also getting over caring whether somebody can hear me talking to the camera or not. Because if it's your job, then you would. Oh dear. I'm seeing some interesting things. Being in this gym, you see some interesting stuff. I need to mind my own business. Head down, mind your own business. That's always the move. It's just... I've got my like old Pure Gym PT hat on because the way you used to get clients in Pure Gym was going to speak to people that clearly needed help. But not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys. Not my problem. Let's go. Half a stack. Again, would love the stack. But that is not happening yet. These matrix, these matrix stacks are heavy. Mm. It's because for some shrugs. I like starting my sets, like for the majority of reps, as tidy and as neat as I can. But then, as I approach fail, I let a little bit of my body English come in because I think sometimes we're all are very guilty of ending a set because a hundred percent perfect form went out the window when that shouldn't be a thing. No one ever got big with 100% perfect form all the time. 90%, 8%, it's fine. It's one of them. On, on an upside, this session being uh, pretty much everything pin loaded means it's going to be pretty rapid. Like the most effort there's going to be is having to put the right attachment on the right machine. Whereas sometimes plate loaded stuff, like when I'm in that gym with a hammer strength incline or the hammer strength row where you need like four to six plates per side. It can take a while. No idea. Also three and a half minutes to rest. Well, not three and a half, three minutes. Do not feel long when, when uh, you're just watching a clock tick, tick down. What I might do for the second set is switch over to a V bar versus this neutral bar just to see if I feel like I like it more. Because this is a rather wide neutral bar. Like I'd love to measure it compared to the one that I got for intent because it's, I, th I think it's pretty significantly wider. And a V-bar can be fun sometimes. I don't know whether I'm imagining it, but I swear that this gym's had a, a change around already, even though it's only a couple months old. I swear there used to be five lap pull down stations, where now there's one, two, three and four. I think, I think they may have gotten rid of one lap pull down station for a pin loaded diverging lap pull down, which eh, I'm not a fan of. The plate loaded one's way too light. The plate loaded, the plate loaded matrix lap pull down, five plates aside is doable. And that's just, there's no, no room for progression. There's no more space on the thing. And the range of motion on it's crap. Pin loaded one, still not gonna be a fan versus just doing a neutral pull down. Could be good for novelty perhaps, but other than that, not my thing. If you like it, go for it. Okay. My timer just went off to do my next set. That was the world's longest three minutes, I'm telling you now. All right, this time, V-bar. Also, that last video was my longest one yet. 37 minutes. It's a good thing. My PC is capable of uh, rendering a 40 minute long 4K video in like 10 minutes. I'm impressed. There was a time where like a, 
a 720p Call of Duty clip would take hours on my old like RTX 420, I think, not RTX, GTX 420 back in the day. Ah, oh, good times. Right, shut up for a sec. <laughs> See, this is the portion of the set where I'm like, there's more in me, but not really strict, like, really strict. No, but... If I add in some, like, 80 to 90% reps like that, am I better off? These are the things that you can only trial for yourself and figure out, but I'm willing to bet you are, because those 100% perfect reps versus being able to get like five more. Those five more, they're probably better. Anyway, next thing, the overhand row, which I might not like. We'll see. You know, chances of me being able to strap into this next one are very low. I just feel like the rubbery grips make that kind of hard. You know, as I move around the gym, I'm getting some funny looks from what I would describe as teenage boys. I always think it's very interesting when they give you funny looks. Because you know full well that before they came, they were watching someone on, on YouTube or TikTok or somewhere doing fitness videos. Because that's often what inspires the youth these days, is watching videos of people training. And it's like, if people don't film them, you ain't going to see them. But yeah, you may not be watching me. You might be watching someone though. And it's like, if you ain't brave enough to whip your tripod out, then nobody's got any content. It's like I see these gym meme pages on, on Instagram sharing, being like, should tripods be banned? And I commented on one once, being like, if tripods were banned, you'd be out of a job. Your content would be gone. Anyway, thoughts of the day. Overhand row. I don't know if this is the right angle. Make sure I don't smother the mic. High elbows. Probably need the chair a bit higher. Actually, I probably don't need to do this and a rear delt fly. Actually, that might be a bit redundant. Chair one higher, I reckon, than that, and we'd be all right. Does the chair adjust? It does. Well done, Matrix. Yeah. How's the angle, though? Need to put it a bit higher. Okay. See? Now I'm in the shot. Can I strap in? Nah. Maybe. <sighs> that actually feels kind of nice. I'll go heavy, though. That was half a stack. <laughs> 45, the stack is 113, so a little bit less than half. Let's go to 66 for our 5 to 9. And where's my straps? My near enough empty gym bag. Fun. You know, I haven't actually heard the three minute timer from my last set go off yet. So, am I jumping into this a bit quick? I feel like I'm ready, so I'm going to regardless, but no, it must have gone off. No, I just didn't track it. Bollocks, what did I do? We'll call it 12. Uh, 66 for this one. For set one. Right. Enough waffle. Let's do a set. If I can zip my pocket up. Zip pockets, by the way. Gym essential. Don't understand why all gym joggers are not by default. Zip pockets. I'm going to say, can I strap in though? Because the handle's inconveniently placed. There's like no gap underneath him for me to wrench it round on. But I think we're in. Yeah, we're in. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay, 
think that was seven. It might have been eight if you counted that last one, but I don't know. And now I can't get unstrapped. Maybe what I could do if I wanted to try and do something more fun for this pull day is maybe like weighted pull-ups. But I don't know. I wish my lower back could tolerate bent over rows, that'd be fun. Sadly, that's up there with a lot of hip hinges in I just hurt myself permanently uh, territory. Annoyingly. I think I might have just thrown my phone a little bit further than I meant to. You know when you try and throw it onto your gym bag and you miss? Well, I just did that. Anyway, on to the next set. You know what, straps are not going to be necessary for this set. It's lighter, higher rep stuff, so... Oh dear, okay. Okay. Instead of another rear delt exercise, I'll just do extra biceps, because you can never have a lot of biceps that are too big, and my triceps are already overpowering them anyway, so... <clears throat> well, as much as I dislike a lot of these machines, just because I'm used to better, I've got a good pump today, which is nice, which I put down to really trying to like aim at carbs, because something I've noticed this week is like, my carbs and my protein are pretty much one to one, I'm so focused about hitting enough protein, because I'm trying to hit more than I've ever hit. I'm like, shit, I'm on like 180 carb, 180 protein, which need more carbs. So I'm going to invest in a rice cooker or something along those lines because carbs are going to drive performance. And I'm not sure I've ever really been above like 250 consistently, except for like cheat meals and shit like that. Where am I next? Oh, single arm pull downs, which might be a struggle because the only cable station with a bench is currently in use. I lied. I found another one. Good lord, these matrix benches are so much heavier than the Cybex and Watson ones. It's because being in a more public gym, matrix needs to be heavier built so that it can withstand the batterings of the general public. Versus like, oh shit, that slid. Versus other people, I guess so long since I've done this one. <laughs> I'm so used to having the Nautilus. I mean, I do have the Nautilus, just not in here. I really hope the bench doesn't move. This might be a full stack job. A little bit light. This is now three quarters of the stack. A little bit more than. Okay, now we've overshot it. Lost like 30 pounds again. How easy a pull up? <laughs> Quite. Oh, dude. Let's not do an ankle in there, shall we? So that was kind of stupid considering I was resting between sets. Whoops. Somebody's setting up a hip thrust over on the Smith machine. And I wouldn't do that in here, I don't think it goes low enough. Not every smith has the bar capable of going to the floor. It's a floor, in, literal floor, in some smiths. But, just off camera there, is a hip thrust machine, which, you know, works just fine. Would have used that. And I think, in fact, this gym actually has a hip thrust bench. Actually, yeah, it does, with band pegs and everything. See? Use the correct tool in the toolbox. Not just what you see your favourite influencer doing. For example, this, this, this exercise right here, that I'm about to do, got really popular. But if you have an, a gym where you have a better choice, I'd do that, like a Nautilus Nitro pull down, or Hammer Strength single arm pull downs, or a Panetta pull down, or a Prime pull down. There's loads of different exercises. Like the ex this, what I'm doing right now, is what I would do in a gym like this, which is, you know, a lot of people. But still, I give it approximately a month till I lose something out of this gym bag because there's just 
it's so light compared to my other gym bag. I need like to get extra gym pins just to weigh it down. Let's do a real set, shall we? Nice. Oh, that stretch. Yeah, there you go. We're trying to scoop it along the ground. <laughs> that really hurts in a good way. Okay. The other bad part of this exercise is it takes forever because you've got to do both arms and have to move a bench to align it better. So it's one of them where, what's the trade-off? If you're in a busy gym with not a lot of equipment or time, probably wouldn't bother with this. Probably just do it on a single arm like pull down where I did the straight bar, just put a D-handle on that. <clears throat> grow, let's grow. My 34 inch waist isn't going to get any, any, any narrower. So my back has to get wider. Come on. <clears throat> Forgotten my bottle somewhere again. Have this habit. Got it. These don't count as my deliverables, but here we are. Clear way. It's cheap at the minute. Cocale. I actually can't believe I'm busy with gyms for one o'clock in the morning right now. Didn't expect this. Right, let's do high reps. <laughs> These are the reps that matter. <laughs> Three breaths. <laughs> I have no idea how many reps are on, but it's, we've passed 15. I don't want to be able to get up here and my lap be able to do a thing more. You know, while I've been in here, I've been seeing a few groups of people come and go in the last hour and a half or so. Wow, we're doing the universal. I'm not really sure what I'm doing um, plan that every lad did. I did it, we all did it. You come in, some barbell bench, do some thrust up push downs, some dumbbell curls, maybe a pet fly machine, and then you go home. I've seen two different groups of people do it, and it's, I don't blame them, it's nostalgic, good days. And also it's kind of weird about doing these single arm sets is, right now my, my right hand side is <laughs> pumped and slaughtered. My left hand side, smidge fresh it. Still not fresh fresh because of, well, we're like however many back sets in. But you can feel the difference, which we're about to even out. Okay. That Hoover has got the longest cable I've ever seen in my life. I could do with one of them cables in my room. Got to be able to send a lot of power because the longer the cable, the bigger the power has to be to get it there. There's words that mean not what I said in there somewhere. Like my HDMI cables that are like six meters long have to be powered. Let's go.
That was probably a little bit too light because God knows how many reps that was. Felt like the longest two sets of my life. Right, let's go train arms. A single arm and with quite a high elbow, so I can't cheat. So, probably not going to need masses of weight. Ow. Okay. My left arm is usually quite a bit stronger for some reason. Not today, though, apparently. If we do both arms, it actually doesn't feel bad. Both arms, let's see. I haven't got a thumbnail for this video yet, have I? Shit. Um, I'll go around when I'm done and try and find a spot for a thumbnail. Don't know what it's gonna be. Hmm. I did not rest it off. No. Oh. Hmm. There's that brick wall I always hit. <sighs> and there it is again. But I'm often very guilty of with arm stuff is not resting long enough between sets because it's arms and it doesn't feel like you need that long. But if you don't rest enough, you'll, the amount of reps you'll get will easily just halve. So, let's actually rest enough so we can actually perform better rather than going in 30 seconds like a moron. How was your day today? <laughs> Mine was long. We took the dog to puppy class and it is the most useless amount of time we could possibly do because she's just, she just hates it and like, Trying to socialise a puppy around other restless, angry, loud puppies just doesn't seem to work. Like if you I feel like to get used to get a puppy used to other dogs, it makes more sense to introduce them to dogs that are already calm and older, rather than putting a bunch like what happens when you get a bunch of like hyperactive kids and put them in a room? All hell breaks loose. That's what happens when you put a bunch of hyperactive puppies in a room. All hell breaks loose. We're trying to hit teach them all to calm down and how to like walk on a lead, but like six foot away from three other puppies it doesn't seem to make much sense it's like she's a qualified dog trainer that we're going to and it's a group session sort of thing so it's like not a lot of one-to-one -one stuff but i i did i went to an animal college i have qualifications in animal stuff myself and it's it's, it's one of them where i don't feel like We've done anything that I didn't already know. It reminds me of when I did my personal training course and it was just all such basic crap that it was like, oh yeah, stuff I've known since I was 16, great. What am I paying for again? It's, at least puppy class isn't too expensive, but it does stress her out and that's what annoys me is that like, we'll have a week of good behaviour 
then we'll take the dog to puppy class. It'll really annoy her. It'll wreck her mood for the day. She'll kick off in the car on the way there. She'll kick off whilst there. And then for the rest of the day and like the day after, her behavior isn't as good as it would have been because it's like upset her normal and it's hard. And we've got like a puppy seat and everything now so we ain't got to hold her and like we give her this chicken foot to chew on and if she'll actually chew it it'll be great but if not she won't and it kicks off i tell you i didn't want kids anyway like I've, I've known for years i didn't want kids but like having a puppy has confirmed i don't want kids because i don't think i ever want another puppy like one day when it's time to get another you won't hear that because of the vocal isolation thing but i think someone's just died um but when it's time to get another dog one day i'm gonna get a two-year-old dog because puppy raisins hard and I can only imagine how much harder a real kid would be. And like, humanity's wrecked anyway, so I don't want kids. Shut up. Do a set. We're at the train, not be full of, full of sizing. That's not even a word. Not the food. Shut up, cow. So let's just die it again. <clears throat> Alright, I'll come back in a minute. Rested between sets. Okay. My left arm's a lot stronger by the look of it. I don't know why, I'm right handed. What's going on back there? The shits and gills to finish this. <clears throat> oh, my brachialis is weak. I can feel that it's weak. I can feel that that's enough to be like stressing it out. <laughs> okay, next thing. So, I'm in a bit of a corner over here because like, where I need to be for what I need next is kind of inconveniently placed for where people have stood. Like, I can't find an angle that wouldn't get people in it. So I'm going to bring some dumbbells over to this area and just curl. It's not ideal, but I'm just, I just I don't want people being in shot because it's, it's not fair. I do my best. Like, I can't help it if I'm filming in, like, the cleaner who is directly behind me like I think he did when I was on the pull-down, but I guess he chose to do that, so it's one of them. Um, let's get some dumbbells. Hey, this could be the worst angle in the world, and I think the lighting's crap, but it will make do. Left arms fail before right there, but it's best not to just carry on. Mm. Nice spot on my delt there. I'm on Accutane at the minute and like I'm starting to purge a bit. Like I've got a spot like right here and I thought I'd made it bleed through earlier on. When I, you know, when I was on that pull down machine, I pulled down, I like hit my chest and I was like, ow. And I was like, did I just burst a spot? Because, like, you know, yesterday, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned how yesterday I had, like, a patch there where I was covering up with, like, an open wound from a big spot that was just bleeding profusely. And I was like, grey might be a risk. Um, but I've got a spot right here. And it really hurts. And I twatted it with that, with that straight bar pull down earlier on. And I really thought I'd bust it. I appear to have not have because there's no mark on my shirt. But it would have been inconvenient. I need to, I need to figure out a pull today. Also, people keep looking at me. It's interesting that I keep being looked at. Like, it's very obvious too, because there's only like five people in here now. So when I catch them seeing, I'm like, and I, I say, like, bro, I'm, I'm miles away from you on purpose. I'm trying. First time in ages. I finished my clearway during the session. Quite often, I like, what's the word? 
uh, ration it to try to not finish it before the session's done, because otherwise I end up with nothing to drink, unless I just go for water like a boring human. But then, quite often I get home and I'm like, ah, I've got like a third of it left and I have to glug it, which isn't ideal. But, whatever. Glad we're done. Two more sets of biceps and then we're going home anyway. On a side note, I'm definitely getting used to the whole filming the sessions thing, and I'm getting lots more comfortable talking on camera, because I am just waffling. Very much so waffling. Ah, oh dear. Instagram's popping off. It's nice. If only Instagram paid for views, because I'd be doing better than I am on TikTok right now. I'm, I'm getting more views on Instagram than TikTok, which is crazy. We'll see. <sighs> the face a different direction this time. No, I like being in the mirror. Miss wearing vests. <clears throat> right, that's preacher curls. No wrecks me, bro. I can't wait to have bigger arms, bigger biceps in particular, because I feel like. My triceps definitely overpower my arm. My delts are grown. With a lot more of a cap to my delt than I definitely used to have. That's nice. And I'm more vascular than I used to be. It's just fun. I've been veiny. Shame that when I put on 10 pounds in the next six weeks, every one of those veins will disappear and my face will be fat again. But you know, it is what it is. An interesting decision has been made. I'm going to move to be polite, but I'll discuss it in a minute. Basically, despite the fact that the gym is near enough empty now and I, w I was about as far away from somebody as I possibly could be, they decided to come and sit next to me. Confident. But I'm trying not to film people. I mean, I, I don't think he cared because I don't think he'd have gone there if he did. But I'm trying to be polite, so I'm, I'm going to move because I can do curls anywhere. I'll just do a different kind of curl for the sake of it, I suppose. I said I was going to do more biceps because I didn't do rear delts. I just think it's interesting that he chose to do that there. Yeah. He pays the membership and do what he likes. What shall I do? Cable curls? Any curls? Fine. Yeah. There's a corner over here. Let's go sit in the corner, shall we? I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to worry about somebody being in the shot in the corner. Let's do it. This is the thing I don't... This is the thing I miss about intent. And obviously, next time I train, I'll be intense, it's fine is in intent. I'm not so worried about people being in the shot because at intent, it's like everybody in their films. Like, I don't know anyone in there that doesn't have social media in gym accounts. So like if somebody's in the background, it's just one of them where, you know, I'm in the background of theirs, they're in the background of mine, we don't care. But in here, these are normal people with normal lives that probably don't want to be filmed. So I do my best to not. Oh, it's already set up for me. Lovely. I don't know how heavy this cable stack is. It feels very elastic. That's something I would describe a lot of these, I don't know, in commercial gyms, like with Matrix, Techno Gym, etc. Cables feel very rubber bandy. I don't know how to describe it. It's strange. I lack the terminology or the vocabulary to perfectly explain what the difference in cable feel is. Maybe someone can word it. If anyone's made it this far into the video, comment elastic, we'll see. Cameron, if you're watching this, I bet you've made it this far because you, I, biggest, biggest supporter for sure. I could probably go one heavier than that. I'm pretty done now at this point in the session, and it is like, where's my nearest clock? I don't know, half past one. So I'm ready to go home, and I'm hungry. I need food, it's been a few hours. And I need to take the dog out too, because she needs a piss. Oh dear, don't have kids or puppies. I always joke, I'm like, I should have got a turtle. They're low maintenance, they live forever, and they can piss all day in their bed if they want to. <laughs> oh. 
What the hell? <clears throat> Talk about a brick wall. Maybe. What is it with these matrix cables, bro? But with the lap pull down, felt so light. With the with everything else, they feel heavy. I mean, it's probably because I've pretty much not rested between my last few sets, but whatever. It also appears that now I've moved from that corner, like three other people have gone to that corner. It's half past one on a Thursday night. It always is something that it's very interesting. I should not, I should not be able to talk to her in a sec. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Then we're philosophizing again. It's not a word. Shut up, Kale. Okay. As I was saying, I always think it's very interesting when, like, normal people are out of the house at this time of night, because it makes me curious as to what kind of job they have that allows them to be able to do that without it, like, negatively impacting their lives. Like, I can do this because what I'm doing right now is my job, right? Well, like normal people with normal jobs, like the one, two, three, four, five people that I can see right now, what do they, what do they do that allows them to be in the gym at half past one on a Thursday night, you know? And maybe they work at Tesco, because when I used to work at Tesco, that was, I could have done it then, because I had night shifts. But I feel like everybody I'm seeing is around my age, one dude's significantly older. I feel like people my age don't tend to work at Tesco anymore. You, you kind of age out of it most of the time. Like, when I worked at Tesco and everybody was a similar age to me, everybody was like 18 to 21. I still need to get a thumbnail. To be fair, this could be the thumbnail, just me studying cross armed. Let's make my sleeves look as tight as we possibly can. Try and make myself look big. Put your arm behind there to try and that. Smush my thought forearm out. Flex it a bit. There we go. Tense myself so I'd nearly die, but maybe that can be my thumbnail. I feel like it didn't look bad. As long as it's like... Waist up, hang on, hang on. I should just fold the sleeve really, but whatever. Do I need to get lower? I'll just find a random screenshot of me looking stupid if I can't find an actual one. This, this clip itself is nearly six minutes long. Christ, unbroken. Call me John Wick for not editing out uh, bits in between. I did nearly have to run and help a kid a minute ago. There's a dude bench pressing, looks very young, and I watched him fail a rep. He only had 10 kilos per side, so it wasn't at any risk, but like I was, it was when I was on the preacher curl, I was like, do I, do I go and help? Because he was, he, he, he couldn't get it to the peg. I mean, he had to roll it down himself or behind himself. Eh, not my business. You guys hear that? Is that a fire alarm? That didn't last long. Maybe Thursday night fire alarm test, I don't know. Anyway, should we go home? Because I'm just waffling on now and I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I don't know if it'll stay exactly the same. I got a good pump in everything that I bothered to train. Because I say that because I didn't do rear delts directly, did I? I also didn't train abs, which I do on a pull day in intent. Is there any ab machine? That matrix on's crap. I could do hanging leg raises. Or I could go home and eat. I know what I'm choosing. Let's go.